Hello guys and welcome back to the Winning Mentality YouTube channel. Adran Kita here and today I will be starting a brand new series on our YouTube channel called Mantle Town Top 10s. It will be anything from the 2010 upwards. So I'll be looking at top goalkeepers that Mansfield Town have had, top defenders, the goal, the great goals that we've scored in the 2010s and upwards. Um, today's episode will consist of me having a look at the top 10 goalkeepers. In my opinion, if you disagree, put it down in the comments and we can have a bit of a debate in the comments. Uh, yeah, it will consist of the top 10 goalkeepers, in my opinion. So here we go. In the number 10 spot, we have Brian Jensen. Brian Jensen joined the Stags from Crawley in the 2015-16 season where he had played 27 games, 25 in League 2, 1 in the FA Cup and 1 in the EFL Trophy. He kept 7 clean sheets in League 2 and 1 clean sheet in the FA Cup. Jensen was then retained for the 2016-17 season where he only made 3 appearances conceding three goals and recording one clean sheet. He was released not long afterwards. Fun fact for Jensen is that he is the oldest player for Mansfield Town to play in a league game at 40 years old and a very good keeper to start off the top 10 list. At number 9 we have Dimitar Evitmov. Evit Marv only played briefly at the Stags, making 11 appearances, conceding 17 goals and keeping two clean sheets. A brief spell at the club only gave the Bulgarian goalkeeper more confidence to play at Nottingham Forest and obviously he's played at different clubs around the leagues, League One, Championship, but vital experience that he got whilst playing at the Stags. At number eight, we have David Groff. David Groff was another goalkeeper that was with the Stags for a short period of time, signing on the 31st of January 2011. Groff played an integral part in Mansfield's FA Trophy run, which saw the Stags lose to Darlington in the final, which uh, Groff did not play in, but he became a hero to the Mansfield fans due to his performances in both the FA Trophy and the Conference League, which is now called the National League, and appeared in front of the Stags fans to a massive standing ovation from the travelling Mansfield Town supporters. At number seven, we have Adam Bishop. Adam Bishop was an academy product that came through the ranks from the under 18s and the under 21s, making a few appearances in the League Cups and obviously the FA Cups. The goalkeeper was very good off his line and looked very strong to make an impact at the Stags, but decided to leave and work for his dad in 2016. So he has not pursued his career of football and decided to follow the footsteps of his father. At number six, we have Conrad Logan. Conrad Logan has been a phenomenal keeper for the Stags. Despite conceding 114 goals in 97 games, he has kept 26 clean sheets in his time at the Stags. He's been a phenomenal shot, shot stopper for the Stags, especially in the EFL League 2 playoff semi-final against Newport, where he kept out a penalty and kept Mansfield within touching distance of going up into League One. But it wasn't to be as Newport County beat the Stags on penalties. At number five, we have Aidan Stone. Ex-manager John Dempster acquired the services of the young and talented goalkeeper Aidan Stone. The goalie has only made four appearances for the Stags, but with Conrad Logan out on loan and Bobby Olesnik struggling for fitness, the young goalkeeper has filled their boots really well and has coped tremendously to first-team football. I'm excited to see how he will develop and whether he will be the number one goalkeeper at Mansfield Town in the years to come. At number four, we have Sasha Studer. Another player who was with the Stags for a brief period was Swiss goalie Sasha Studer. The goalie joined Mansfield Town in the 14-15 season from Swiss side FC Winterfur. The goalie made 22 appearances that season for the Stags, claiming seven clean sheets, which is a good return for a backup keeper. The 28-year-old returned to Switzerland after his brief spell at Mansfield and currently plays in the fourth tier of Swiss football. In the third place, we have Bobby Olesnik. Bobby Olesnik joined Mansfield in the 17-18 season from Exeter City. The Austrian keeper played a vital part for Mansfield in the 18-19 season as the Stags looked to go up to League One, but an injury midway through the season ruled Olesnik out for the season 
and with that saw Mansfield only reach the playoffs that season, which they lost to Newport on penalties. The goalie returned back to 13 football this season, making 13 appearances this season, and has looked to have returned better than last year, with maximum effort beaming from the keeper. Adding on to that, in the 18-19 season, he made 17 appearances in the league before his season was cut short due to injury. He claimed 9 clean sheets and only conceded 11 goals in that period, which is an amazing achievement for a goalkeeper. In second place and runner-up, we have Kevin Pilkington. Pilkington joined Mansfield in 2000 and left after 5 years at the club in 2005. He then returned for one more season at the Amber and Blues in 2010, where he made 10 appearances for the Stags. The goalkeeper was a huge favourite among Stags fans and it showed through his career. The Stags fans were left sour-faced on two occasions by Pilkington though, as it left not once but twice from Mansfield to their fiercest rivals, Notts County. But in my opinion, it's still the second goalkeeper Stags have had in the 2010s, as his shot-stopping ability and his general commandment of the box was unprecedented. And the top goalkeeper for Mansfield Town in the 2010s it's Alan Marriott. Alan Marriott, what a goalkeeper he was for Mansfield Town. Gathers back to the Football League, made over 200 appearances for the Stags. He had everything in his locker. Goal line scramble saves, crucial saves, clean sheets. He was such a great goalkeeper for Mansfield Town. He scored his one and only goal against Wrexham in the league as he lobbed the keeper from his own goal. He claimed one trophy whilst at the Stags, which was the champions of the National League, but was narrowly denied the FA Trophy as the Stags were beaten 1-0 by Darlington after a Chris Senior goal in the 119th minute, which broke Mansfield Town hearts, denied them cup glory at Wembley. But without a doubt, Alan Marriott has been Mansfield Town's best goalkeeper in the 2010s, and everything he has done for the club, especially with his retirement in 2014, and his saves, and everything he did for the club has gone down in history. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed the very first episode of Mansfield Town Top 10s. If you enjoyed it, make sure to hit the like button. If not, make sure to comment on how I can improve with my editing and I'll see what I can do in the next episode. Make sure to like and subscribe. We are trying, we are so close to try and to hit that 200 so please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button and I shall see you next time.